In this tutorial I'll talk you through how to photograph a fast moving subject such as a car, plane or animal and be able to show its speed in the image in the form of wheels that appear to be rotating or a propeller spinning or a background blurring or smudging. The common mistake people make is that they choose the fastest shutter speed they possibly can as something moving high speed that you want to be sharp you'd automatically reach out for a fast action freezing shutter speed. The problem with this is that if for example you're taking a photo of a car on a racetrack the car would be perfectly sharp and frozen in time however so will the wheels and background so in actual fact the car may as well be parked up and stationary as this is how it will appear in the photo. So in order to show the motion all that you need to do is the following. Step 1. Considering you're taking a photo of something fast moving select a relatively slow shutter speed in shutter priority or manual mode. It is all about the balance here. Too slow and you'll lose sharpness overall depending how good you are at the next step and too fast and you'll end up just freezing your subject in time again. Experiment to find the sweet spot and don't forget it also depends on how fast your subject is moving and if you have a wide angle lens you'd require a much slower shutter speed compared with a telephoto lens to achieve the same effect. Step 2. Frame your subject and track it. Literally move your camera so you're following the subject and keeping it in the same place within your frame. This ensures your camera's speed relative to the subject is the same, hence you can use a shutter speed that would be similar for taking the same photo if your subject was actually still. Make sure you've got the focus point selected beforehand and you're half pressing the shutter to track the subject with the autofocus. Without stopping the movement or tracking of your camera, press the shutter and take your image. It is something you can quickly get used to doing with a little practice. If you have a continuous shooting feature or burst mode on your camera, enable this so you can just hold the shutter down and have multiple images to choose from. Also make sure you select the continuous autofocus survey mode as your subject is moving. I hope that you found this tutorial useful and that you can now go out and take some more exciting pictures of cars, planes or birds in flight, anything where you want to show the speed. Thanks for watching.